in order to solve problems dealing with conservation of energy, first law for a closed or an open system, you have to be able to calculate changes in internal energy and changes in enthalpy for an ideal gas mixture. I'm going to work it out for the change in internal energy. So U2 minus U1, if you didn't have an ideal gas mixture, if it was just a pure ideal gas, then it would be just the mass times U2 minus U1. But because we have a mixture, you can sum over each of the components the mass for that component plus the change in internal energy for that component. You can also work it out on a molar basis where you can have the number of moles times U2 bar minus U1 bar and if you had a mixture then we would sum over all the molar contributions of each of the components and the change in internal energy. So you can do it on a mass basis or on a molar basis calculate these change in properties. Let's take this equation. We Well, we introduced that the mass of the mixture is equal to the sum of the masses of each of the components of the mixture. True? So if we take and uh, this equation and we multiply by mass of the mixture and over here we have the sum of each component divided by the mass of the mixture times U2 minus U1, we see that we pick up the mass of the mixture times the sum of the mass fractions times U2 minus U1. You would write this as a change in internal energy U2 minus U1 of the mixture where that's equal to the sum of the mass fractions <clears throat> times U2 minus U1 for each component. Often we deal with constant specific heats, specific heats C sub B and C sub P, and then we can replace the mass of the mixture times the sum of the mass fractions times C sub V sub I, and each term would be multiplied by T2 minus T1. So we can pull T2 minus T1 out. And then if we look, this looks like a good definition for C sub V of the mixture. So you have the mass of the mixture, specific heat, T2 minus T1, or a very useful way to calculate the change in internal energy of an ideal gas mixture. You can do the same thing on a molar basis. If you do it on a molar basis, you'll get an equation where you have mole fractions. So you'll have the number of moles of the mixture equal to the sum of the number of moles. A lot of times they leave off that that subscript mix, it's just n, true? It's just n, the total number of moles. The number of moles, let me leave it on there, mix, mix, times the sum of yi's times u bar 2 minus u bar 1 is equal to uh, <clears throat> the to total number of moles of the mixture times the sum of the mole fractions times c sub v bar times T2 minus T1. And so you can have, you know, this specific heat constant volume on a molar basis for each component as well as specific heat constant volume on a mass basis. So this looks like a great way to define C bar V of the mixture is just simply sum of the Yi C bar VIs.